hi guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is dami if you're coming for the first time i'm a content creator based in nigeria i create content about oambe gili stoning you know things like that so if that's something you're interested in then definitely hit the subscribe button now wakanda forever is out out each factor where mark babe wakanda is out and um as black panther black panther before somebody comes to comment section say it's not wakanda it's black panther i'm aware it's black panther and um nigeria L lagos nigeria had the first african premiere that is huge like do you know what that means it's huge by the way at this point i want to believe it is a flex to be nigerian you can't tell me any other thing and that reason why you can say i'm excited and that reason why i'm actually really excited is that this is a premiere where the actors are actually here in lagos because they've been doing a lot of premieres in lagos and actors know they come without further ado we're going to be analyzing some of the looks from the red carpet so the first person that we have is lupita herself lupita was a star in the first one and of course she's back again okay so all these all these pictures and the videos i'm showing you i saw from bella ninja lupita is serving us body in this neutral tone dress is beautiful it's like a net mesh so it's a it's a nude tone dress really beautiful it has this high slit um with some nice cut shoes i don't know if those are sandals can't really see them very minimal jewelry and all the drama is in her hair i'll give lupita an 8 over 10 she looks very very beautiful wow she looks she looks really really good i love her dress very beautiful very simple it's not doing too much it's a straight cut dress long one no i can't see the end it's looking like it has a line but i really can't see the end from this picture but it looks really really good really gorgeous love her low cut love her minimal makeup and minimal jewelry and her skin is doing the talking i'm going to give her i'm going to give her an 8 over 10 because she looks really good next up we have ik he's wearing this um beautiful wow there's a lot of jewelry going on I mean, ik looks really really good i love the cap i love the monotone colors he looks really good i'll give him a 7 over 10 all right so for the next black carpet host she's look she's wearing this um corset let me watch again she's wearing this corset dress that has um stripes down the end and it looks like it's made from ashoki with a lot of stonework on it i love the sweetheart neckline she's she looks really good the hair is very beautiful yes love it is a low ponytail very simple makeup bold red lips i love it i love seeing big girls on the carpet i love seeing big girls not being afraid to like you know rock everything and everything she's not trying to hide under anything i'm going to be biased here i'm not even going to be biased because she looks really good give her a nine over ten I love the stoning very simple the stone is just doing like this it's just doing like this is not in your face she looks really really good all right next up we have one of the kings of fashion denola gray is wearing this very beautiful agbada and he has this headpiece thing on his hand or a mask looks really good i like the jewelry i like the colors of the jewelry i like that it is gold everything is very monotone he looks good he has some makeup on um which is giving him the cat eye i also believe he has eyeshadow and his eyebrows are done denola looks good i'll give denola a 7 over 10. Right, next up we have ayola yolola um he's wearing black agbada okay he's wearing black agbada with coral beads on his neck long coral beads and a coral beads on his hand as well he looks really really good I mean it's giving the african royalty vibes i'll give him an eight over ten wow okay i feel like every other person i've rated i used to go back and rate them again because do you see this look i'm seeing can you see the look i'm seeing are you kidding me this looks like it is just out of the movie i love the design on her head and she's even bowed um i love the designs on her head you know the artwork the face the outfits everything they went all out with this fit i'm tempted to give her a 10 over 10 um because she looks like she was from the movie the little is, is giving soldier you know with a little bit of sexiness because there's some picking true one of my favorite looks for the night she looks really really beautiful moving on swiftly next up we have rmd is wearing this very beautiful 
up and down but in it looks like a traditional outfit i'm not too sure and he has beads on his neck and um a small chain with the africa um what's it called with the africa map on it nice cap i feel like rmd can do no wrong in my eyes <laughs> i mean fashion wise because whatever he wears he looks really good in them i'm going to give rmd a 7 over 10 he looks good all right next up we have elozam elozam is wearing this um ashoki jacket really really beautiful it's giving gucci vibes gucci vibes the colors green and red and on this side he has this long um gold bracelet with uh, this he has this hat on the hat is nice oh oh on the other arm he has something that looks like a robot like a robotic arm i want to believe that that is what he's going for he looks good the whole look looks good it's giving um it's giving metrics it's giving metrics i like the play on the you know with uh on the, the play of black panther in terms of you know wakanda being very futuristic that's with the other arm and then the african theme next up we have we have sharon oja um sharon Sharon Oja is wearing an Ashoki skirt, I believe, with a blouse. And this blouse is skin tone. She likes to play safe. I feel like I've seen Sharon in a lot of um, safe looks. This is giving me Ashoebi vibes. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. The neckline, the design on the dress is giving me Ashoebi vibes. And then the hair as well. The makeup is carefully, um, carefully played with. It's not... The makeup is not um, daring in any way. It's giving a typical Sharon Oja look. Like this is how she looks. Maybe the only thing that would be different is if the dress was long, there would be a high slit. So it's giving a safe Sharon Oja look. It looks good, right? But it's just she looks good at like Sharon Oja. That's what I'm trying to say. She looks good. It's it's a safe look. Next up, we have Adunia Day. Adunia Day. Okay, Aduni is wearing this lovely dress, long straight gown. It's a corset dress and then there's a matte design on the waist, which is really, really beautiful. It's um, Kilonje. It's a tube dress. That matting thing is very, very beautiful. And then the cape on the neck as well. She looks good. Aduni looks good. The hair is, you know, beautifully done in a high hop, hop the high hop do the high hop do and i wish that she didn't have that jewelry on her neck because it's kind of conflicting with the corset but it still look not with the corset with the cape but it still looks good aduni looks good in anything she wears i believe she has a very beautiful skin you know everything is given erica is wearing this simple uh, mini dress with exaggerated sleeves it's pink it's red it's giving summer wedding vibes with a pink dress maybe like summer wedding vibes um brunch vibes her makeup is very simple i'm not sure if it, it's, it's giving it's giving she was going somewhere and she decided to come for this because it's the colors the look itself is not on theme it looks like looks like she's going for a summer wedding i don't know how else to put it maybe like a summer wedding or she's going for a brunch she's going for brunch with her friends she looks good you know as erica she looks good she looks gorgeous but for the theme and for the red carpet maybe not maybe not i'm not feeling this look for the red carpet let me know what you think down below about erica's look i mean erica has one different thing so this is like not erica for red carpet so it feels like she's going out and she said ah dear kote yaki wombe hermes is wearing yeah he looks good it looks like he's also from the movie looks like a warrior from the movie looks like a mini god it looks really really good i would give hermes a 7 over 10 i love the costume it looks like the costume was from the movie or it's something you just pick from the set of the movie i say let me go and wear it that's to show you how much effort they put into the look he looks really good idia is wearing this gorgeous mini dress wow a lot of gold a lot of wine i'm seeing feathers as well i'm seeing mesh on the sleeve and the mesh is skin mesh she looks really okay the dress is a transformer dress too because now we're seeing it's all covered 
I wonder who styled her though. She looks really, really good as well. I feel like I'm saying everybody looks good. And somebody is watching this video, I'm supposed to be like, Elaine, you also look good, Abby. This one looks good again, Abby. Yes, she looks good. I'll give Idia a 7 over 10. 7 over 10. Bella is wearing this popular Danshiki fabric. If you don't know this Danshiki fabric, are you even African? Are you even Nigerian? You don't even need to be African to know this Danshiki fabric. So it's a very popular one. I want to say everybody has this. However, the styling is different. So in front, it is a mini dress with a cape. And at the back, the cape has chains. And I believe she was styled by Tiana Styling. And you know Tiana just leave it for tiana tiana does some very interesting looks mm. yeah she looks okay the hair is doing the talking very beautiful styling with the carries as well very simple makeup very minimal makeup her look is beautiful she looks great i would give her a seven over mm? no i would give her a six over ten she looks good toy lawani aka tiana styling now tony does amazing things with the red carpet she's very creative very playful very uh most i would not playful she's very experimental with her looks and um, she's giving mama africa vibes trust Tony now she will not do it small she will not do it small she looks really really good not going to dwell too much on her look shex is wearing what is he wearing hmm is wearing shakes is wearing a wrapper that's what it is he's wearing a wrapper and they styled it the look is giving me maui from wana that's the only thing i can think about um yeah that's what it looks like to me maui from wana he looks okay I'll give Shags a 5 over 10. Alright, next up we have Likoro. She's wearing this gold like printed um, gold jumpsuit with the lion head on top. Um, it's not lion head, it's um, lion signboard. I don't know what to call it, but it's a lion shall with the feathers. I wonder why they put feathers on lion though. Hmm. Hmm. I mean it's very beautiful it's very daring very gorgeous i love her hair her hair is very simple not doing too much i wish it was like a sleek ponytail because the hair is also trying to make a statement as well she has on gold hear earrings hey, well, at this point my age factor Emma Gbabe. she has gold earrings she looks okay a lot to unpack from the look i'm still wondering why there are feathers on a lion however i would give her a six over ten she looks she looks okay Vigoovi is wearing this um, red pants and suit with a red cape on top and then it has this gold um, embellishment on the cape and on top of that he has a mask and then he has pink hair for some reason his mask reminds me of PJ Max um, and then oh yeah at the back there's the crest of black panther which i believe was done with stone the black panther logo at the back is really really beautiful whoever did the stone work did a great job if you don't know how to stone i have a video on stoning so you can check that out i'll give this look a five over ten i i like i feel like the hair being pink with the cape and the gold and the mask is doing too much so maybe if the hair was black or something else it would be nice but pink hair on a full red outfit is doing too much so sonia is wearing organza light blue a baby blue organza and then she has the tribal design on her face she has braids on okay so let's analyze sonia sonia's look um this is this is it's a lot to unpack so there's the gathered sleeve thing and then the i said gathered sleeve there's the gathered pleats right on the asymmetrical cut of the gown and it has the she looks like she's tying it on the waist but one thing i do like though is that she's wearing it with confidence um the bead on the neck mm, the bead on the head is a lot to unpack from sonia's look i would give sonia a 
I'll give Sonia a 4 over 10. The beads on the hand, you know, the beads on her wrist as well, they are not matching. There's a lot going on there as well. I feel like, I don't know, there's a lot in this look. Wale Ojo is wearing... Whenever I see Wale Ojo, I remember one of my favorite movies that I've seen him from, or one of my favorite shows that I've seen him from, which is... um meet the Ade banjos he interpreted that role so well officer chicago doesn't want to grow old okay he's wearing this suit this black and gold suit on an all black outfit and then the suit now has like a cape thing on the sleeve a black drape not cape a black drape on the side with a brooch i feel like this brooch was added last minute or the cape the drape was added last minute but trust me he looks really good and then he added the bead like okay i'm still african he looks really good i'll give wale ojo an eight over ten all right so dala is wearing this two-piece crop top it has a lot of design on it and then she has a veil as well i like that there's a play of colors with the inner sleeve there's this green thing going on she's giving me arabian arabian dancer right not sure that's like really african or really wakanda but she looks really good i'm going to give dala a six over ten for this look next up we have uh, my name is ike chuku you see me in the club ike chuku is wearing chukuto and buba really simple nothing extra to it um yeah chukuto and buba black black basic it feels like at this point if you are nigerian and you are a man you don't have shukuto abuba that is black what are you doing with sneakers very simple it looks like he was also going somewhere and he said ah today is wakanda this let me just stop by and say hello to them um i'm going to give him a six over ten but he looks he looks good he looks good next up we have Tokpe. oh my god i love Tokpe. i've seen her movies she looks really good very wakanda like beautiful the look is the colors the she looks good i'm going to give her an 8 over 10. priscilla is wearing this gray bodysuit it looks like a bodysuit um or maybe it's leggings on top i don't know but it looks like a bodysuit from here with this silver metallic corset skirt thing i don't know the corset looks small but she looks good the hair is beautiful she looks nervous in this video though she looks nervous the hair is doing the statement while the dress is just like you know yeah the hair is beautiful the the masterpiece on that hair are you kidding me all right next up we have rahama she's wearing this velvet um tube dress she looks really really beautiful and then she has the carries as her neck piece which is coming down to her sleeve black lip and she has a gorgeous head piece as well i love her look um yeah i love it i'm going to give her an 8 over 10. she looks really really good an 8 over 10. prince nelson is wearing a lot of things <laughs> um yeah a lot of things and this looks like he just came out from the movie right with the leather with the cowhide with the cowries with the browns he looks good Ina is wearing a brown um suit with of course the pants beautifully designed with some fur on the neck and then he's wearing this traditional cap it looks good it actually looks like this look was put together as opposed to a lot of the other looks from the men we've been seeing just wearing their agbada from their wardrobe mori is wearing this oh that's so cute so she's wearing this black dress the black dress initially let me not lie was giving me a shoebi vibes because that's what i'm seeing giving me bridesmaids vibe it's still giving me bridesmaids vibes or yeah bridesmaids vibe ashwabi vibes but looking closer into the dress they have a picture of what i think is chadwick boseman inside the inside the what's it called the tail of the dress so i don't know how that works because when she's walking you won't see the tail but she looks good i'm going to give her a seven over ten next up we have kunle remy kunle is i feel like a lot of people decided to just stop by this event and kunle seems to be one of them because he's not wearing anything that remotely seems like or sounds like the theme he's just wearing this long um hmm yeah however okay 
Okay, okay. He later came to defend himself in the Bella Ninja, um, what's it called? Post and it's like fashion is peculiar. Pecu peculiar. Hey, fashion is peculiar. I rocked the color of Wakanda, not the pin. Hmm. And I'm super comfortable. So, Kule Remy, maybe not going with the theme, but like he said, he's wearing the color scheme and he's wearing this face cap of doing things. I feel like at this point, he should um, trademark things because that's something he says a lot. A lot to unpack from his look. I mean, it's not going with the theme. So, I'm just going to give Kule a 5 over 10 because I cannot give anybody. Thank much for watching this video. Um, let me know what your favorite looks are down below. Go drop a comment, like, share, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.